NAEP scores of U.S. 13-year-olds dropped roughly a grade level since 2020, reversing decades of progress. If left unchecked, this could lead to a generation of adults who avoid math because they lack confidence and competence. I'm Sarah Lubiansky, a professor of mathematics education at Indiana University. New NAEP results show troubling trends in 13-year-olds' performance. We've had the largest decline in U.S. math scores ever recorded on this NAEP test. Scores for our lowest achieving students are down more than a grade level and are now at levels not seen since the 1970s. It's not surprising that after students miss months of school, we see learning loss. As a researcher, I see a silver lining in two ways. First, these drops in scores show that schools really matter for student learning. And second, our assessments are working as intended since they're able to pick up on the learning loss that's occurring. The decline in math achievement means that these students will have less math confidence and will be more likely to avoid math-related careers. They'll be more easily manipulated if they can't make sense of financial, political, or health information. This can impact the students' futures, as well as our economy and our democracy. There are several ways we can help address the learning loss that has occurred. Most of the 13-year-olds tested will start high school this fall, and they'll be substantially behind. So we need to adjust what we teach. Instead of business as usual, we need to prioritize the math topics most important for filling gaps and for helping students be savvy information users. In terms of how we teach, there might be a knee-jerk reaction to drill students on basic math skills as a quick fix, but learning is best done in more meaningful ways. Unfortunately, we're facing a serious math teacher shortage at a time when we most need highly prepared math teachers. So we need to invest in teacher salaries and working conditions and encourage our strongest students to enter teaching. The decline in NAEP reading scores was less than half that of the math drop. Parents often read with their children for fun, but they don't do this for math. Parents are children's first teachers, and yet they may not feel equipped to teach their children math. And unfortunately, we may soon have a generation of parents who feel even less equipped to do so.